So we've all been there before. You just created an awesome print when you notice it. The color bleed. That ugly, awful bleed just ruins the print. All that wasted filament, everything down the drain. Depending on what you're printing and what color filament that you're using, it can be very difficult to avoid. So in this video, I'll break down five settings and options that you can do in your 3D printing software that will hopefully prevent these color bleeds from happening in the future. So a little disclaimer when it comes to these settings, they might not work for you with every single print. Welcome to the 3D printing world. <laughs> with 3D printing, depending on the type of filament you use and the type of design that you do, while one thing might work for you with this print, it might not work for you the best with this print. You might have to tweak these settings a little bit to help prevent the color bleed or just learn to print in one color altogether and paint, prime, all that fun stuff. If you're not that type of person like me, definitely keep note of these settings and see how they can help you or apply them or tweak them with your future prints. First thing would be to turn off any options where you flush into the object you're printing. The flush into object infill setting allows you to purge filament waste when changing colors directly into the infill of the object you are printing, minimizing wasted material during color changes. If you're printing with filament that's lighter in color, the mixed color infill will most likely be visible outside. If you decide to leave this setting on for delicate prints, it's recommended to print an identical object if your plate size permits, where one object can be used to purge into and help prevent color bleeding on the other. This feature is in regards to the filament color changes between two types of the filaments. This is usually auto calculated. However, you can select this feature before printing and recalculate the numbers to make sure they are correct. When you're switching from dark colored filament to light colored filament, this requires a larger flushing volume, such as when you switch from black to yellow or white. In these settings, you can raise the number higher than the software auto calculated to make sure there is more of a flush between those types of filaments. You can also create the multiplier at the bottom and even choose to have a longer retraction when cut that you can enable in the filament settings. So a prime tower helps keep your prints looking sharp by clearing out any leftover filament before it switches colors. It works as a small test area where the printer deposits any excess material, ensuring smooth and consistent extrusion before continuing with the main print. This prevents unwanted color mixing and imperfections, giving you cleaner, more precise results. Increasing the outer wall thickness can help prevent color bleed, especially when printing with multiple colors as it creates a thicker barrier between different color filaments. This printing option can help prevent color bleed by ensuring that the printer lays down the inner wall of a color block first, followed by the outer wall, effectively separating the different colors and minimizing the chance of mixing during the printing process. So there you have it. Hopefully changing these five settings around can help you out with your 3D prints. Again, depending on the filament you choose, how much light passes through it, how see-through it might be compared to the other prints you're doing, it might be very difficult to avoid, but tweaking some of these settings around will help you out. If you have any tips, tricks when it comes to filament bleeding or, or color bleeds like this, definitely leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. And with that, I'm Eric Sauer with Sweet and Sour 3D. I'll catch you in the next one.